And now, it's Judith Lucy. I must say, you can't beat a festival, can you? Although I'm going to be honest with you and say that the last time I did the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, I did find myself thinking, what am I doing here? Because really, the main reason to do Edinburgh is so that you can establish yourself in Britain, which would also mean living there for a while. And without wanting to offend anyone English in the audience, I'd rather eat my own shit. <laughs> The problem is the food. And look, I know it's all been said before about British food, but I am obsessed with the fact that that country is so close to countries like Spain, France, and Italy, but they go, oh no, you can keep your pasta and your paella. It's got nout on our mum's battered offal. <laughs> What I really love about travelling is that it's not until you leave this great brown land of ours that you realise that no one outside of Australia knows anything about us. We had a taxi driver who told us that the state of Quebec is bigger than our entire nation. And we were so worn down by, by that stage we both went, oh, really? No, I'm telling you, he could have turned around and said, hey, I hear your Prime Minister's a wombat. And I would have gone, yeah. <laughs> He's got some pretty weird policies, but boy, can that guy burrow. <laughs> but, um, oh, a little bit of po political correctness happening up the top there. But now the main difference that I noticed while I was in Montreal was with the audiences. Because I reckon I've done enough gigs to know that most Australian audiences, when given the choice between audience participation and walking around with chilli paste in their underpants, <laughs> will go, I love a burning clacker every time. <laughs> Not in Montreal. Oh no. I was doing a gig where the compé was talking to this woman in the audience and she has just suddenly sprung out of her chair and produced a photograph of herself of when she was a lot larger, which she's proceeded to show everyone. She's like a bloody walking Jenny Craig commercial. <laughs> and I am standing there thinking, I don't think an Australian would produce a photo of themselves at a comedy venue, even if the before-after scenario involved their head growing back. <laughs> And then I made the mistake of going up to the compare afterwards and going, what about that woman with the photograph? And she's gone, I know, 120 pounds, 120 pounds. Can you believe it? It's like she lost a whole other person. Good for her, I say, good for her. <laughs> and I am just standing there thinking, I am just so not in my own country. <laughs> But of course, the real highlight was that international economy flight home. And you know, I don't care that you're in economy. Free alcohol is your God-given right. <laughs> Thank you, fellow problem drinkers. And at one point, I've asked the flight attendant for a drink, and she's gone, I'll see what I can do. And I thought, no. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not asking you to do me a favour. You know, I could have understood her going, I'll see what I can do if I'd maybe gone, excuse me, is there any chance of you making your makeup look a bit more natural? <laughs> Thank you very much.